Hello, my name is Alex Badiou and in this video I wanted to show you a special technique I used in my latest submission for challenge number 11 organized by Enterprise DNA. The technique I want to show you is how you can highlight points in a scatter chart based on a filter selection. But before jumping into the example, I wanted to give you more context around this challenge. So we had information from John Hopkins University with information regarding the COVID situation uh, concerning the number of new cases confirmed, uh, recovered and death for every country every day. We had to create a report in one page with the most important information. The main idea of the report I wanted to build was to create something dynamic something that will allow the end user to engage with the data and do benchmark between countries very easily and also see the different metrics that are useful to, to, to follow. Very fast I thought about scatter charts because scatter charts have many advantages in the user experience. We can benchmark very easily information inside the scatter charts and they are very flexible because you have the y-axis and the x-axis and then you also have the tooltips. The only thing that was missing, in my opinion, was the relation between a filter and the, the scatter chart. Meaning that if you choose a certain country in a filter, I want it to uh, highlight that point in a scatter chart. That will draw attention to the end user. That will then show a search for additional information inside the tooltips and then we'll engage more easily with the report. So that is why I created these uh, scatter charts and that is why I created uh, the highlight te technique. The only thing that was bothering me, uh, and you can see it when you look at the report, was that most of the points are uh, close together and it's very hard to see the, the, the highlighted uh, country. For that reason, I added a menu where you can personalize the y-axis and then it will be much easy to see the points inside the scatter chart. I think that the report is very dynamic and allow the end user to see very easily and compare very easily the, the information. So if this is something that you are interested in, let's jump into the example. So I'm now on my Power BI desktop where I created my scatter charts and my filter. But, but as you can see, when I change the selection of my filter, I will only have one point, the point of the country I selected. I don't want that. I want to see all the countries. So I have to, to click on the, on the filter, then go to Format edit interaction and cut the interaction of my filter. This is the first thing. The second thing we have to do is to create a new table with the same information uh, as in this uh, slicer. So we want to have one table with all the countries. So in order to do this, we have to go to modeling, new table, and then create a table that will take all the countries from our first table. So we added this new table and I will take the new value of the countries that I will transform in a filter and I will transform as the first one in a drop down. This table is not should not be uh, should be disconnected. So in order to see the this table, we'll we'll have it here. So this table is not connected to any of the of the other tables. It is completely disconnected. And what we want to do is to put these two uh, slicers in sync. So 
I will click on this slicer, then I will go to View, Sync Slicer, go to Advanced and give it a name. I'll put this highlight. Then I will click on the same on the other filter, go to the advanced options and give it the same name. Highlight. Now the two filters are in sync. So when I choose here, let me make it bigger. If I choose here United Kingdom, we can see that United Kingdom is selected. If I click here Algeria, we can say that the main filter is selected. So now the two filters are in sync. The next thing we have to do is to create a measure that will be used to highlight our scatter charts. So I'm going to add a new slice, a new measure. I'll copy paste the formula and I will explain it to you. So the first thing we have to do is to have a list of all the countries that from the from our filter. The second thing we have to do is to have also the selected value for uh, our main filter. Then we have to to know if the the select country that means the the new table we created and uh, the the value of the country is selected or not. And based on this information if the it is not filter then we'll have our main color which is the yellow and if the the uh, if the the country that is highlighted is the same as the country that uh, from the main filter then we'll have a, a second color basically what it says is that if we have the same selection then put a orange color if not leave it uh, as a yellow and once we we created this uh, this measure okay we can go to the scatter charts and then go to the data colors click on the small fx and then we will have a field value by this measure highlighted. Okay. Now, as you can see, when we have United Kingdom, we have United Kingdom that is selected. So we'll have to do the same thing for the other scatter charts. And now we have our filter that is selected. So as you can see, we do not want to have two slicers on the page. So we can go to view, selection, and hide this slicer. Now my scatter charts are working well and we can highlight based on the country from the main slicer. So this was the technique I wanted to show you today. I hope uh, you find it useful and you can use it in your own reports. Let us know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to like the video and subscribe to Enterprise DNA channel. Have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.